Hello, Aries viewers. So let's see what the story is. Let's get right into it. And as always, if you want a private reading, my email address is below in the description box. Um, my donation links are also below. I appreciate donations. And please like, comment, share, and subscribe if it resonates. We've got willpower, strength, confidence, traps, blocks, tied up. New love, fated encounter, risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. We have manipulation and deception. We have shyness and fear of rejection. Pride and stubbornness. X, the past. True love, fated encounter, or true love, potential life partner. Make your move, green light. Hidden truth. Waiting, hoping, praying. A sense of belonging, home, safe space. Confusion and uncertainty. And love offer, commitment. Finances and career. I feel like you have two potential life partners. I really don't think like the one the ex that was a potential life partner, I don't think you want them back. Like I think you're you're long over them. I think that they've gone too long without communicating or without making effort towards you. So I don't think that you even consider them an option anymore. For some, you do need to cut the cords though, because they're still jealous and wanting to keep you from finding someone new. There's a lot of that energy lately of just needing to cut cords and needing to release, especially it makes sense with, with the planetary cycles going on right now too. And now we have a, a full moon. So I would really, I would really look at that because, okay, so we have willpower, strength, confidence. We have trapped, blocked, tied up. I feel like it's going to take a lot of willpower and strength to really take this blindfold off and look at this. Look at where you've been blocked. Look at where you've been tied up and trapped and cut these cords. Release what's no longer serving you. Let go of people that manipulated you and deceived you. You know, illusion. Let go of the illusion. There's something here that needs to be released um, because this new love is waiting to come in. We have new love, faded encounter. For some of you, it's already come in. You've already, you're with this person or you already met this person. But we have a risk, reward, and bold gesture, choosing love over fear. So that's one of the beautiful energetic differences you're going to see between this person and the ex is that they're going to choose you. You know what I mean? Like it's not, there's not going to be any games. They're just, they're going to know. They're just going to know. And I really feel like when this new person comes in, if they haven't already come in for you, I feel like it's going to trigger this ex. Like they're going to energetically feel it. They're going to feel that you've met someone new. They're going to feel that, you know, they're not an option for you anymore. The weird thing is, though, I feel like you already don't want them. Like, I feel like you're already just done with this ex. I don't think that you want anything to do with them. But I feel like you're going to be so happy with this new person that they're going to feel that energy. And that's where this, this energy comes into play, where you need to be kind of aware of this and you need to cut these cords. You need to not let exes or deceptive narcissistic people from your past tie you back, hold you back. Yeah, I feel like an ex is going to come back around, but it's like they're afraid of rejection. They're afraid of speaking the truth. They're still shy. They're still scared. They're still intimidated by you. They're still a coward. They're, they're still a coward, honestly, is what it comes down to. It's the same old energy as before. They're still not sure who they are. They're still not sure what they want. They're still not sure about the connection. They're still, you know, just, ugh, just icky energy. Still prideful, still stubborn. You're not going to want this back. I think you already, like I said, I think you already don't want this back. I think at one point you might have felt like this was a potential life partner. You might have been open to this before. But I feel like at this point in your life, I just feel like maybe too much time has gone by or whatever's happened. It's like you're just, you don't want this icky energy anymore. But I do feel like they're going to feel this and they're going to want to come back around. It's like going to be like a green light for them where they're just, they're going to feel that energy. They're going to feel that you've met your potential life partner and they're going to want to come in. I really feel like, like you do, you just, there's something here to be aware of because it just feels like a before and after. 
like when you take the blindfold off and you cut these cords, when you really step into your power, you know, willpower, strength, confidence, owning your power and taking this blindfold off and seeing what's been holding you back and cutting those cords, you know, not allowing yourself to be manipulated or deceived by anybody, you know, you know, speaking your truth, finding your own personal truth. I think that's when your true love comes in. And yeah, you're not going to, I don't think you're going to, you don't want the ex. I think the ex is going to reveal a hidden truth to you though. Something that in the past you were waiting and hoping and praying for this. I don't think you really care about it anymore. But I feel like now they're going to take the mask off and reveal this hidden truth to you. They might make excuses and say that, you know, finances were an issue. That they were distracted by their job or by this or that. They didn't want to lose their money. Yada, yada. Um... Yeah, they're going to give you some kind of love offer. It might be a little confusing. They might tell you that they feel at home with you, that they feel like you're their safe space. But I just I just don't see you wanting it. I really don't see you wanting it. Tell me more about the new love. But these three cards, this is such... Just be aware of this because this is... What I'm getting really strongly is that this is the key to manifesting this new love. Clearing this up is the key to manifesting that new love. stagnation complacency spying mentally yeah it's like they're stagnant but they're spying on you you know what i mean like they're not mentally stable and they're going to see that someone's coming in and someone's giving you everything that they couldn't give you the loyalty the stability the promises and actually sticking to to them this is a real man or a real woman you know what i mean like this is like a genuine person this is a strong person and this ex is like pathetic compared to this person this ex is absolutely nothing compared to this other person, you know, but the ex is spying and the ex might even find out about this somehow. Like they might find out like on social media or through other people that you're seeing somebody. It might even start out that you want to make the ex jealous and then you end up really falling in love with this other person. Yeah, they're going to finally, this ex is going to finally be vulnerable with you and apologize and try to blame third parties or blame other people or situations, um, but, you know, apologize for cheating or for betraying you or for any conflict, but it's just, it's too late, too little, too late. I don't think you're even, I don't think you feel a thing for this person anymore. Honestly, from the energy that I'm feeling, I just, I don't think you care. I don't think the apology is even really going to phase you. I think you're going to be like, okay, cool story, bro. And you're going to move right on. Like you're just, I don't, I don't know. I just don't, I'm not getting a strong emotion from it. Like, I just, I don't think you're going to care about it. I really don't. I think that you're already done with this person. You already moved on from this person. Um, you already know that you want more than this. You know what I mean? The apology is just, it's way too late. It's the energy I'm feeling. Yeah, they hesitated too long. They took it too slow. They made everything a power struggle. They promised you the adventure, the honeymoon, the vacation, the, the wedding, the whatever it was, and they didn't follow through on those promises. So I just, yeah, I just honestly don't see you wanting it. Just plain, just straight up. I just don't see you wanting the ex anymore. But, you know, still giving you a heads up that you might be getting a message from them where they try to apologize and, you know, cry for you back when they feel that you're with the new person. Um, you might really need to cut and clear this if you haven't already. Like I said, you need to take this blindfold off and be aware of the red cords. Be aware of what's been holding you back. Be aware of who's been trying to deceive you. Could be an ex trying to keep you tied down that you need to be aware of and you need to cut this cut this energy out. Um but yeah, I think new love is going to come in really quickly once that's cleared up, whatever that is. It's different for everybody. The moon, the knight of cups. Yeah, you're using your intuition. You're using your intuition here. We have the moon, the knight of cups, and the death card. It's like you're using your intuition here to go forward, to move, like, you know, look at look at him or look at her. It's like they're they're following their heart. See that, see just the, the body language. It's like they're vulnerable, they're emotional, they're romantic, they're passionate. 
It's like this Knight of Cups is just moving forward and following their dreams. And that dreams that that dream includes a death. You know, I mean that includes an end death is about endings. It's about letting something go. And that those dreams that you're pursuing, they include an ending to something that was hurting you, was no longer serving you, something that just was holding you back, something that, you know, something that was someone or something could be a person that made all these promises to you and didn't follow through someone that didn't love you proper properly and you've moved on from them you don't even have any romantic feelings for them anymore you don't you're never going back to that you're never going to look at them the same way again so you know it, basically what it's telling me is using your intuition and following your dreams is the key here and also letting this go whatever this in a lot of you have already let it go but it's just saying, it's just kind of reiterating here that this ending is is part of following your dreams. Or that maybe an ending that was painful at one point, it's not painful for you anymore, but at one point it was, maybe that ending was necessary to get you to use your intuition and go forward and follow your dreams and go towards your, your true love, your, your king or queen of pentacles. Yeah. The sun, the world, you know, these are, these are beautiful cards, major arcana cards. The sun is... Look at that right above the moon, too. The sun is like the most positive card on the deck. It's money. It's love. It's just moving forward. It's, you know, just pure positivity, good things. The world is wrapping up a cycle. Yeah, you're not nostalgic anymore. You're not. You've moved past that. You're not nostalgic anymore. Nine of Pentacles. It's like one final battle and you have this, you know, all the rewards, everything you've been working for, you've been strong, you've been, you know, finding that balance between giving and receiving finally. And so you're going to be rewarded for that energy here. Seven of Cups, choices to make. So show me about, more about this new person. Eight of Cups. Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're going to be moving forward. It's not It's not even, it's like a choice you're going to have to make between the ex and the new person, but I don't think it's even going to be a hard choice. You just, you're going to move forward with this new person, this Knight of Swords, this person that's loyal, stable, brave, strong. They're, they're like the opposite of your ex, pretty much. I feel like your ex had this like Knight of Wands energy where it's like, they came in really fire. They came in, it was almost like an imposter. It's like this Knight of Wands was like an imposter is kind of almost what I'm getting here. Like they they pretended to be the Knight of Swords. Does that make sense? It, it's like they pretend, it's like this Knight of Wands pretended to be everything that the Knight of Swords actually is. That's what I'm channeling here in this context. It's like they, like you might have thought they were your twin flame and they're actually the false twin and this Knight of Swords is your real twin flame. It's like that kind of energy or even just soulmates. But it just feels like this person pretended to be an alpha male or female. And this person, this Knight of Swords actually is an alpha male or an alpha female. It's like this person pretended to embody everything that the Knight of Swords actually naturally is. Like this person tried to almost like deceive you into feeling like they were strong and they were confident and they were sure of you and they made all these promises to you, but it was like gaslighting or they just didn't follow through with those promises. And in the end, they ended up being, you know, leaving as quick, you know, fiery energy. It's like they ended up leaving just as quickly as they came in. You know, like it just burnt out. It's like they're just... I feel like like their insecurities came to light, their fears came to light. And it just feels like someone who's prideful and stubborn, like someone who wants to control you and possess you and be with you, but they don't want to put the effort in. They don't want to actually like be vulnerable. They're not strong enough to be vulnerable. This person's very weak, very weak-minded, very um just it's like the difference between like alphas is like between like a real alpha and like a fake alpha is like the fake alphas are the ones that are like in bars, like screaming, trying to get attention, trying to wave the bartender down, talking over people, competing with everyone they see. That is a fake alpha. That is that is someone that's insecure. That is someone who who's their insecurities are just so obvious. A real alpha, male or female, is just 
they're more peaceful, to be honest, because they know who they are. They know what they want. They'll fight if they need to. They'll compete if they need to. But they're naturally confident. So they just kind of like, look at this. They just kind of stand in their power. They just, they know who they are. They know what they want. They're sure about you. They're sh if When they love you, they're sure about you. You know, they don't have to do all that extra crap that the fake alphas, the knight of wands over here have to, have to do. They don't have to do all that. They already know who they are. They don't need to run their mouth. They can just sit there and observe. You know, they have that natural wisdom, that natural strength, that this just very strong presence. This is the kind of energy you want. And so, yeah, it's like this nine of wands was like an imposter trying to make you think that they were this person or trying to make you think that they were um, trying to like pretend like they embodied that energy. Like they trying to talk, you know, some kind of game acting like they've been through so much and yada, yada. And then you found out in the end how insecure and weak they really were. Um, but I feel like it was almost like a stepping stone. It's getting you to your true person, to your knight of swords, to someone who really is an alpha male or alpha female, someone who really is confident and sure of themselves and, and you know, sure of you, sure of the connection with you. And you're starting this new life with, with them and it's going to be more balanced. Um, yeah, you have this, this little scaredy cat coming back around. But like I said, I don't think you want it anymore. I think you're already over it. You know, you have a choice to make, but I think it's going to be an easy choice. I think you're going to, you're going to go for the knight of swords here. But um, anyway, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates, please like, comment, share, subscribe to me. Um, any donations are appreciated. And if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box. Thanks for watching.